Welcome back to Simple Pong and Python 3 for Beginners Part 5. Um, so in this lesson we're going to learn how to get the ball to collide with the paddles. Uh, so let's see what we have so far. So we've got our ball, it's bouncing off the top of the screen, and it's at the edge of the screen it goes back to the center, which is what we want. Um, so what we got to do is we got to make it so that when it touches the paddles it will reverse. And how we're going to do that uh, is basically what we're going to do is we're going to compare the X and Y coordinates of the paddle and the ball. Um, so if we look at our code, we put paddle B at 350. So the X coordinate of the center is 350. And if you recall, the center, it's tw sorry, it's 20 pixels wide by 100 pixels tall. So we need to basically look at, we need to make sure that the ball is basically between here and here, and that it's basically between here and here. And if it is, then we'll call that a bounce. Okay, so let me uh, kind of play with the math a little bit on that and give that a shot. So let's, so let's, again, as I mentioned before, we're just gonna try and get the right paddle working. And if we get the right paddle working, then it's easy to get the left paddle working. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna say, so paddle and ball collisions. Okay, so if the ball dot x core, so if the ball's x coordinate is greater than, uh, so we said 350, it's 10 wide, so it's greater than, say, 340, and the ball, well, actually, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that, and then we'll come back and fix it in a bit. Uh, so that's one condition, and the ball's y coordinate is less than paddle b dot y core plus 50 here's a lot of a lot of stuff in here and there's a lot of different things here ball dot y core is greater than paddle b dot y core minus 50 okay so I'm glad that's scrolling over um, so let me explain that real quick so if that's the case okay gonna tab there four, if that is the case basically we just want the DX same thing we did at the top times equals 1 although this is X not Y sorry negative 1 so if it's going this way, the dx is positive, it's going to bounce and go back this way. So what we want to see is the ball x-coordinate greater than 340. That means the edges are basically touching. And is it between the top of the paddle and the bottom of the paddle? Actually, I don't think it should be 50. It should probably be 40 because of the size of the ball. But let's, let's play around with that. Let's test it out see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to run that. Oops. Okay, so did you see what happened there? Which is not what we wanted. Okay, see it bounced there. But watch what happens. If I miss it, see, there's like a little bit of a glitch there. It's because, even though it's behind, the x coordinate is greater than 340 and it's between here. Okay, so you see how that's kind of acting weird. So what we need to do is I'm going to add this condition and ball.xcore is less than, we'll say, 350. So that gives it basically to the middle of the paddle. So we'll say ball.setx to 340. So that moves it back to the left a little bit, and then it reverses the direction, which is what we wanted. Okay, so let me test that one more time, make sure it's working. So it bounces, which is good. Okay. 
Let's let it get past and see. Okay, so you see how it did not get stuck that time. So that's basically what we wanted to happen. So let's just test it one more time. Yep, so that's, that's where we wanted it. Okay, so I'm just going to basically take this. I'm going to copy it. Paste it. And I'm just going to do the same thing on this, the other side. So minus 340 greater than minus 350. And the top and bottom doesn't matter. But in this case, it's going to be paddle A, not paddle B. That would give you some definitely some weird glitches. And then same thing, we're going to reverse the ball. So let's test it again. Okay, so over here, we're using the up and down arrows. Okay, it bounced. Over here, we're going to use the W and S keys. And we test it. Okay, so something went wrong there. Um, okay, so I know what I did wrong. So I had set X here to 340. It should be negative 340. So again, notice, because I'm testing it, you know, after every little bit of code, I knew that the problem had to be in here somewhere because that's the only thing I changed. I just I can't emphasize that enough because uh, my students, like I said, they always want to type the whole thing in and then debug, which is never a good idea. Okay, so let's test it one more time. So you can see this process. We're iterating, we're testing, and just making sure everything is working as expected before we move on. Okay. So that is that for that section. So now we've got colliding with the paddles. It's going off the screen. The next thing we need to do is to add some sort of scoring mechanism, which we'll do in the next video. See you soon.